morning everyone it's Saturday uh, November the 6th and it's about 11 12 a.m. I'm like on my way now to uh, the area that I like to drive in I'll tell you I've had a really good week uh, yesterday I didn't record um, I just needed a break so um, I actually made like $279 yesterday and if you haven't seen my unicorn uh, it's just a really short clip go to that clip and watch it because I've had such a good week I only have like a little less than $21 to get for my week of course I'm gonna stay out longer than that I'm gonna make you know as much as I can I might go home a little earlier than usual but um, yeah I I usually hit it hard through the week so I can kind of take uh, off a little earlier on Saturdays and and so I did that this week so I'm pretty excited about that always look forward to that so I've only had a few orders sent to me on DoorDash so far this morning, but nothing worth taking. So um, I will let you know as soon as I get one on board. Okay guys, I uh, have my first order. Um, it's picking up from McAllister's. My Android showed 1.5 miles, but my iPhone showed a 9.2. I'm showing my iPhone screenshot. So you can see it picked up the distance from where I started all the way to here where I'm at now. So, which, I don't know, it must be a glitch that DoorDash has because it, it does it constantly. So usually I just have to like restart the app and it, it's fine. But So I'm on my way to pick up that order now. Okay guys, I have that uh, McAllister's on board and uh, it's only 1.1 miles to the drop off, which is about five minutes. So let's go get it off. I just got an order on DoorDash for Hawaiian Brothers. For 33 items and I thought oh I'm just gonna grab it I'll see what it is I thought yeah it's probably got you know 15 silverware 15 extra uh, teriyaki sauces on it whatever when I looked at the items it's 33 huli chicken huli huli chickens or something whatever that is so it's all food so I it was for six dollars and fifty cents i don't know i didn't even look at the miles to be honest with you <laughs> i did not look at the miles i had two seconds left to accept it um so i almost missed it so i i don't know if it'll be a whole lot but you know even if it's 10 or 15 bucks you know works for me so let's get it on board and um uh, Get it delivered and see what we got okay so i have that big order on board and it's only going two miles guys two miles and it's going to take me about five minutes to get there from where i'm at so um they must be having a big luncheon i think it's like at a car dealership so they must be having some kind of big luncheon there so anyway let's go get this off and see what we get Okay guys, you ready to see what that order is? I'm hoping it's more than $6.50. $18.50. Okay, well, I thought it was gonna be a lot more than that with that much food, but I'll take $18.50. I have to admit, I was a little disappointed in that order because um, each one of those plates that they ordered and like I said there's 33 of them right each one of those plates is about ten dollars uh, a shot so that's over three hundred dollars worth of food like way over three hundred dollars worth of food and to only give a sixteen dollar tip on that 
I mean, I'm not totally unhappy, but I thought it was going to be more. So anyway, it is what it is. Okay, so I have my next order on board. It is a DoorDash picking up from Sarpino's Pizza. So it was for $6.50 and it was going 3.4 miles. I don't, it was only two items. So I would be very surprised if um, it's any more than that. So let's go get rid of it. Okay, so um, those of you that have been watching my videos, uh, I was working on a bonus for uh, Spark Delivery, and it was to do 15 orders, and they would guarantee you $300 as just the base pay. And then I had a, a notification from them on the app this morning that I reached the goal, and I received $0. So I was like, what is up with that? You know, because I know I didn't hit $300. I might have been close, you know, I was thinking I was close, but I still should have gotten something. So anyway, I just got off the phone with them and um, they went through all of the orders that I did and it was actually from October the 30th to November the 5th, so a Saturday to Friday. And um, she said I only did $258 and some change, so I should have been, you know, I should be getting like $41 and something. So uh, she's going to escalate it to uh, her support people and I should hear from them through email, I would hope, within the next, I would hope within the next few days. So, so we'll see what happens with that. I'll keep you posted and let you know uh, when I get it or if I get it. Oh my gosh, that sun is so bright today, um, but it's beautiful out. Um, I just wasn't, wish it wasn't quite so sunny. Um, so that order I just dropped off from Sarpino's ended up being like $7, so 50 cents more, you know, I'll take it. So um, now I'm just waiting on my next order. I've been getting some coming through, but nothing worth taking so far, but I'll let you know when I get one. Okay guys, I have my uh, next order on board. It is on Grubhub and it was for $7.22 and it was going like 0.7 miles. So I grabbed it. I had a little bit of a wait to pick it up, maybe seven or eight minutes, so not too bad, but um, I'm on my way to drop it off right now. So let's go get her done. Okay, so I dropped off that BD's Mongolian restaurant order and I now have a DoorDash on me from Mi Ranchito. It's for $7.50 and it was going like 4.4 miles. So I'm only four minutes away from the drop off, just a couple miles. So let's go get it done. Okay guys, I just got an order on Grubhub for $10.08 and it's going like 2.5 miles, which that's a really good order, especially for Grubhub, because they seem to give you long, very, very long distances. So um, the orders I do take from Grubhub are kind of few and far between. Um, but I am, it's picking up at Arby's and I am like just right across the street from Arby's, so it won't take me long to get there. And um, let's go get it on board. Okay, I have that Arby's order on board, and it's only, I don't know, like 2.2 miles, so it's going to take me about seven minutes to drop it off, so they, it was uh, two roast beef meals, and my gosh, they ordered the large drinks. I had to put them in my car's drink holders because they were so big, and that was a loud car. They're, they're so big and of course, you know, these fast food places have like the flimsiest 
drink holders ever. So, and I did not want to be cleaning up a mess today. So let's go get this off. that Arby's order off with no issues and I already have an order on uh, DoorDash and I already have it on board I picked it up from Mr. Beast Burger and uh, it's for six dollars and fifty cents and it's only going like 1.9 miles so it probably won't go up in price at all just because there were only I think like three maybe no there were five items but I don't expect it to to go any higher. If, if it does, it'll be very little. So, uh, but I was surprised when I, you know, that that restaurant is one of those virtual restaurants inside of On the Border, and On the Border's been really slow lately. So I almost dreaded taking it, but it's been so slow today that I decided to go ahead and do it. So um, I walked in order was sitting right there ready to go so I don't know they I know they were having staffing problems but um, maybe they got that fixed so let's go get this dropped off did go up to eight dollars and eighty four cents I believe so up from six fifty so like I always say every little bit helps I now have an order on Grubhub picking up from Johnny's Tavern so uh, I'm already sitting outside the restaurant it was just like three minutes from where I dropped off the uh, Mr. Beast Burger so um, it is a pay only so I'll have to take my little Grubhub card in with me and pay for it. And it is for $9.56 and it's going, well, it says 4.3 miles, but now I'm probably only a couple miles uh, from the actual drop off. Okay guys, I uh, got that uh, Johnny's Tavern off without any issues. It was just a leave it door, so it was pretty simple. Uh, I did receive a notification from the Spark Delivery app that I met the requirements for the bonus of, uh, let's see, I think it said something like from 11.4 to 11.5, uh, I needed to do four Spark Deliveries and I would get uh, $25. You could do more than that, I think if, if you went eight deliveries you got 50 and then if you did 12 deliveries you got $70 but I only hit the the first target there so um, so I got $25 um, for doing that over the last couple of days so uh, I didn't think I was going to get it because on the um, you know where you check the progress on the app uh, it didn't show that I had done any of the that I had met any of the requirements for those deliveries. So I was kind of shocked when I, when it came up and said that I got $25. So um, anyway, I was happy about that. But I now have a Red Lobster order on Grubhub. Uh, it's for $10.07 if I remember right. And it was going like three miles. Red Lobster on board. It took them about 10 to 12 minutes to finish it up. It was a steak, so you know, the guy said those take longer to make. So, anyway, it's on board, and I am about seven minutes from the drop off. And two point, I think it was like 2.2 miles, something like that, from where I was at. So, shouldn't take too long to get it off. I also noticed that uh, I received two of my three tips for yes from yesterday 
So that was $14 so far on those. And then I should have another one coming for $10 more dollars unless the customer ends up tip baiting me, you know, where they say they're gonna, tip baiting is where they say they're gonna give you the tip and then they find some excuse to retract the tip or lower the tip or whatever. So um, I think it's ridiculous that they should even have the opportunity to do that. It's just part of the way these gig apps do it and I guess it gives the customers some comfort knowing that if they don't get good service then they can uh, take their tip back. So, um, so yeah, let's go get this off then. Either yesterday or the day before that, I picked up an order for the same customer from the same restaurant. Because the name was hard to forget. The name on it was Cadet Penguin. Every once in a while you run across the same customer, but and I have had it happen where I've delivered to the same house twice in the same day. So I guess you know, I guess it can happen. But anyway, I have that off and I now have a Walmart Spark order on me and um, it's for $27.29 going 3.2 miles and it's actually two orders. Um, it's kind of weird because I took a screenshot of it when it first came up and it shows it was for $24. It's the same order number so I know I didn't like do something weird with it so I don't know if they upped the price on it which is fine with me you know but I'm not sure what happened there so I'm here at the Walmart store waiting to pick them up so hopefully it won't take them too long so let's do it yeah there's a $17 tip on this one so I think they combine the two tips and show them as one so it's never separated so I don't know who tips what but um, anyway just want to let you know all right so both of those orders are on board and the first one is like less than a mile I think it was like 0.8 or 0.9 miles um, to the drop-off so like four minutes and as soon as I get that dropped off I'll let you know how far the other one is the next one is about 2.3 miles and just nine minutes okay so the last drop-off was uh, at an apartment building and of course it was on the third floor and I tried to take two of the lighter things first and then I was just gonna put everything else in a big my big uh, DoorDash bag catering bag um, so this is the first time I've ever been to these apartments and I uh, took two things like of soda um, and so um, on my way back down I um, noticed there was an elevator so of course, I took the elevator for the second trip, but, you know, it would have been nice to have it for the first trip. I wouldn't have worn myself out so much. Anyway, it's done, so that's all that matters. And I am going to start heading towards home because I'm not working all day. If I get an order on the way home, I'll let you know. Okay, guys, I'm home for the day. Um, everything shut off, and I'm sitting outside my house. I had a lot of tips come in from spark and then I had that bonus so that kind of helped out quite a bit to uh, just make some money today so I um, won't be driving on Monday I am actually going to be uh, babysitting for the next couple days uh, Sunday and Monday for my great uh, nieces and nephew so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an adventure the oldest one is six, and then there's a four-year-old, and then a two-year-old. So I'm probably going to be wiped out by the time it's over with. But I'm um, looking forward to spending some time with them. Um, just uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so by hitting that subscribe button down below. It would be greatly appreciated for sure. And um, we'll just see you in the next video.